How you doing, baby? You good? You straight? You sure? All right, now. So, all right. Anywho. <laughs> so, I just wanted to come on here with a word because it hit me. And it's hit me before, but I forgot about it. But this just brought it back because it happened today. So, I won't say who these people are, but they are very important people in my life. And me and one of these people was having a conversation. And the person was just like, you know, with the situation that just recently happened to you, what if I needed to get in contact with somebody else that I need to get in contact with for you? How am I supposed to get in contact with that person? Because they was like, well, how such and such do you know? I, I realized I haven't asked you. That's what it was. They said, I realized I haven't asked you in a while. How is such and such? I was like, oh, such and such is good. They they doing pretty good. You know, they around or whatever. It was like, oh, okay, cool. You know, and it was just like going into the whole, you know, with the situation that happened to me because I had got like really, really sick or whatever. And, you know, I needed some help. And then this person came and helped me and they was like, well, with the situation, you know, what if I needed to get in contact with this other person? to let them know how you doing or you know that something's wrong with you I really would I really need their number or whatever and I already know for a fact that this person does not want that person to have their number so I was just you know trying to make light of it because they I could tell this person was trying to ready their phone for me to give them the phone number and I was just like well you know I don't think that they would want you to have it but they kept insisting that you know it was important for them to kind of like have it or whatever in order for like emergency purposes and I was like I understand that and they was like you know I mean and then they went to this whole spiel of like you know I know some things happened in the past but we are older now and you know we've grown and we need to just start letting some of that shit go it's it's old news whatever what have you and I understood what the person was saying, but I was just like, they don't want you. I, I, I just had to flat out say it. And instead of trying to be nice about the shit, I just had to say, they don't want you to have their number. And they told me they don't want you specifically to have their number. And that's their choice. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, I totally understand what you're saying. And in those cases, trust and believe that person will be able to be contacted so that they would know what's up and right when I said that um the other person got defensive immediately and was just got, just got upset and it just really triggered them and they was just like well you know what since you didn't you didn't say what you said I, I gotta get up and do what I need to do and such as like they didn't even want to talk to me no more and I was just like okay but I was just you know at the, before they got off I just let them know I was like well you know with people everybody's experiences are different with each other. The same way you experience certain situations with this person, you got to understand that they had their own experience as well. And you can't just expect people to just sweep shit under the rug or whatever. Um, and that's just how it is. I said, you just got to let people live their life how it is. And it ain't no bad blood or nothing between nobody. It's just, it, it is what it is. And that's when they got kind of like a little dismissive with me and was just like, I'm kind of ready to get off the phone, whatever. I need to go. Now that you said that and I know what the deal is, I can just go ahead and get my mind off of that. I ain't got to think about this person no more. So they probably won't, won't even be asking me how this person is based off of the strength of just, you know, that situation. And I was like, okay, it is what it is. But it made me think about how people will treat you a certain way and feel like years can go by or whatever months can go by and you're supposed to be fine with them and everything is supposed to be cool baby no that's not what it is especially if you are still here and you're capable of giving this person an uh an apology and you've never given this person an apology you can't expect them to sweep shit under the rug when it comes to you or about you or about a situation or many situations you can't expect that just because you let it go Maybe the reason why you let it go because you feel like you didn't do nothing wrong and Maybe there's a conversation that possibly could be had Between the two of you to figure out what was done wrong or why this person feels this way or whatever But that's not for me to negate That's not you know for nobody else to do that's for y'all to do if y'all gonna do it and you have to be okay 
and understanding to the fact that they may not want to do it at all or they may not want to do it right then and there. You know what I'm saying? But you can't sit up here and just think that because you got over some shit that the other people should get over some shit and they should just sweep it under the rug and you ain't said nothing to them. You ain't apologized. You ain't tried to make no type of amends or nothing. And it was just wild to me because it's like, man, I think about myself and how I know people's favorite word is like cringe. They like to use the word cringe. So I guess, I guess we'll go with that. I guess we'll go with that word. <laughs> but um, there are some things that I know that I have done in my life as it pertains to people on my journey. And I kind of wish that I could have an opportunity to at least see where things went wrong because on my end, I feel like nothing went wrong for us to really stop talking or or whatever. But who knows how this person's experience may have been in that time with me. I'm just going off of what I know and what I feel. I don't know how this person took it or whatever. So I can't make up anything. I can't say that old oh, time so much time has passed and we haven't seen each other in years and years and you should be over that or whatever we should just come together because because at one point we were good well maybe we didn't leave off good or maybe i thought we left off good or okay or whatever the hell and that person probably thought no the fuck we did it not at all you don't remember x y and z i may not remember x y and z but baby you could tell me and and then we can do something from there but you can't just assume. So there's a lot of different people in my life as well that I feel like I'm not even going to, I, I changed that. It's not a lot. Honestly, it's really not a lot of people. There are some situations and some peep, some people who I feel like, man, I wish I could talk to this person and see what the disconnect really was so that I could fix the shit. Um, if there's anything to be fixed. And I guess for some of those people, because I have tried, that they're like, you know, whatever I may have done or didn't do, they feel like whatever happened, it just solidified our relationship and they no longer need to talk to me. That is where I, as a person, need to understand that they don't want to talk to me. It's okay. I don't need to get upset about it. I just need to look into myself and, and remind myself that the way that I think people should have experienced me or whatever, or the experience that I thought that I was portraying, maybe I didn't portray that experience. Maybe I portrayed something different and that's okay. It may not be okay to me because I'm like, damn, if it is something that I messed up on, I really would rather apologize for, especially now where I'm at the age that I'm at. I'm like, man, if I need to apologize to somebody for something, and even if I apologize and it doesn't get us anywhere, like we still don't be cool afterwards. I feel like it's closure for me. I know for a fact never to hit you up again, never to check on you, never to do nothing. And who's to say that might not give some kind of closure, bring some closure to the other person. But at the same time, if they feel like they've already gotten their own closure by doing their own work or whatever, then it is what it is. I can't be mad at them. I can't be mad at them people at all. And for me to sit there and literally witness that somebody getting upset because of the way that you because of the way that somebody experienced you and you're upset by that, you should really just be assessing yourself. You, you're not really mad at them. You're mad at yourself because of who you either portrayed yourself to be or who you really are. That's it, to be honest. It's either who you portrayed yourself to be and you was being fake and phony or you showed them who you really are if you feel like you was being a hundred and who you really are is not that great or at the time it wasn't that great. Maybe you're a changed person now. Maybe you're a lot better. But baby, baby, back then, you was hell. You was probably hell and you gave them hell. So how are you going to be mad because they don't want to deal with you? It is what it is. And it's like, yes, again, for the circumstances, I totally understood what the person was saying as far as emergency purposes. But I had to let that person know that there is a way for this person to be contacted in emergency purposes and it doesn't have to be through you. You just want it to be through you. They don't want anything to do with you. They don't have no issue with you. If they were to see you, they would speak to you. It wouldn't be a whole bunch of conversations, 
but they would speak to you, but they don't want to have nothing to do with you. So you should just respect that. It don't matter about no situation. It don't matter if it's you, a, the cousin, a, a sister, mama, daddy, brother, what best friend, auntie, um, it don't matter what the relate, old baby, mama, baby, whatever. It don't matter what the relationship was, baby. If it ain't there no more, let it go. If it ain't there no more, let it go. And don't be mad. Just use that as an opportunity to assess yourself and come to grips with yourself and get that closure for yourself. Because you may not get that shit from that person. And this person is not going to get that. The person that was talking to me is not going to get that closure. And it's just like a lot of shit is going, I wouldn't say downhill, downhill, but a lot of shit has been going downhill for the other person who I was on the phone with. And so I feel like sometimes they're grabbing for straws. They're, they're really reaching for straws and there's none there. There really isn't any there. And, you know, it is what it is because this person that got mad at me because of past experiences and and now they trying to, like I said before, I was like, some shit is about to shift. And I know that you acting like this right now, but later on, you're going to realize what you had when it's gone. And now that person has showed me that my words have come true. You realize what you had when it was there, but it's gone now and you don't have that and you didn't appreciate it when you had it. You really didn't appreciate that shit when you had it. And it's okay. It's all right. I'm not mad at you, but you're not going to get it like you had it. You're trying to get it like you had it, but you're not going to get it, baby. And it's all right. You're going to be all right. So I just wanted to share that little bit of information with anybody. Um, if they could, they are possibly going through a similar situation or maybe somebody may come to them and, you know, talk to them about a situation in this manner. And, you know, if maybe if you ain't have all the words to put together to say what I just said, I mean, to, to put it together by yourself, just think about it in the manner in which I just said it because I mean baby that's what it is and it's gonna be all right we gotta learn to just let people be sometimes you ain't gonna get no closure let these people be and it's gonna be all right for you and for me so shit but yeah I just want to share that baby I'm, I'm out I'm, I'm waiting on this piece right now I'm gone